Hi, how are you? Hope you're having a good Friday. It's Bank Holiday Friday. And I'm at work and I've got so much on my mind to talk about. And I was really hoping I was going to get a video with Rusha, but she's like tracking down the queen or the king, shall I say, on his coronation weekend. <clears throat> um, so it's just going to be me today. I can't sit that way because the light's shining in. You know, working here, I should have a really cool stand, but I don't have a really cool stand. Can I balance here? Can you balance here for me? <gasps> it's perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. Now, hopefully nobody comes in here for a meeting because I'll be like, sorry, we're in a really important call right now. You're too far away, aren't you? Let me bring you forward. Can I wheel this forward? Oh, oh. Oh, it's wheeling. I'm wheeling a whole TV. Oh, oh, oh. Hi, we got you. Okay. Okay, I really should have thought this through. But I didn't because I don't have time. Anyway, good to see you. Um, hope all is well. This is a great view, isn't it? This is a great view. I shouldn't move the phone again. But we work opposite the Shard, so it's always... Um, it's always splendid, but what's annoying me is this weather at this moment in time. I am absolutely done with it. One minute it's sunny, next minute it's pouring, and it's also warm and clammy, which I'm happier about, but it's not good enough. Um, a couple of things that have been announced today. Um, Spurs women on the 20th of May are going to be playing Reading. And actually, they're going to do the double header with the men's, which I think we've all been talking about maybe seeing more of, or it'd be nice to see more of. Um, how it works with bringing a fan base together. So um, Spurs men will play Brentford that day and then Spurs women will play Reading later on in the afternoon and the tickets cover both. Um, it's, a, it's a stadium that only recently I, I got to working um, for TalkSport just a couple of weeks ago um, where Spurs were hosting Manchester United. And it's such a, a spectacle that I think it's exciting to know that teams are thinking about doing more like this. Um, and I think Spurs then are clearly leading the way. They have a, I mean, a lot of fans aren't big fans of Daniel Levy whatsoever, but I think this is a smart move from the board. And it's a good move for the women as well because you're encouraging um, fans to bring along their children, introduce them to the women's game, not if they don't want to, of course, but I just think it's a good move all round. Um, and that's coming up on the 20th of May. They'll be playing Reading, which could be a, a great game for Spurs because no disrespect to Reading, but what is going on there? I mean, they're not finding any sort of form and they're now sitting at the bottom of the table as well. So um, it could be a troubling game for Reading, especially then if you're at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, there's going to be maybe a lot more fans there as well. I think this could be a troublesome one uh, for Reading, but I think a good move all round. Um, it's funny, I debated with somebody who you'll who you know, um, but I won't mention the name because I really didn't agree with their point. This person was like, you know, if they're, if men, if, if you don't want to watch women, basically, basically saying you didn't want men watching women's football. And I was like, what? Like, my husband, my dad, they love women's football. They've been part of women's football for quite some time. I want my little boy to love women's football. Um, so it felt like a quite, quite a stupid thing to say. Um, I, want, I want everybody to enjoy football and to enjoy women's football as well. Um, so yeah, I, I think that's a clever move from Spurs. You can let me know your thoughts in the comments as well. I know it's always a subject that divides everybody, so please let me know your thoughts. Um, the other big thing that we're talking about, of course, is ACLs. ACLs. Did anybody see Viviana Miedema's picture yesterday um, on Instagram? And it was like ACL 1, 2, 3 and 4. Um, fourth, of course, being Laura Wienreuter after picking up her injury against Wolfsburg in the UEFA Champions League semi-final at the Emirates. What an incredible day. What a sad end to that game albeit absolutely special and unbelievable as well. It really was brilliant. I really don't like how dark it is. It's really dark. Let me bring you this way and I'll just hold you. <gasps> much better, much better. Um, and yeah, I, I actually at full time was in the tunnel uh, doing flash interviews. Um, flash interview sounds like I'm flashing people. I wasn't doing that, but I'll remember it for next time and I'll try and get it on the vlog. Um, and R Laura Veen Reuter came out with her family and she was on crutches. You could tell she'd been upset, but you know, she had the, the stiff upper lip going. And I thought to myself, 
it's just so, it's one of those injuries that's so career defining and takes you out for a full year, nine months anyway. Yeah, it, it's not like they're crippled with pain in the time. Um, I had a great chat yesterday with a girl called Lois Roach. She plays at Charlton. Um, and funnily enough, her and Brucia used to play together at Arsenal back in the day. Um, and she was really lovely, but she did her ACL. And Charlton have had six ACLs from February to February. So in one season, six ACLs. I mean, that is just bonkers. So we had this, this incredible woman in called Dr. Emma Ross. You'll see this on the 90 Men YouTube channel. You should go and watch it if you've got a little bit of an obsession for ACLs like I do at this moment in time. And, you know, we can help it be so fascinating because it's happening all the time. Um, Dr. Emma Ross has a book coming out called The Female Body Bible, and it focuses on um, ACLs in women's football, why it's happening all the time, how we can try and prevent them, how basically women's game is modelled so much on men's game. And when the women's game started moving forward, it was like copying a man's game. Um, whereas our bodies are so different um, and that really got me thinking like you look at tennis and how quite often you know a game of tennis you're bending your knees you're pivoting all the time there's so much moving through the knees but you don't get ACL injuries in tennis all that much I mean there, there probably has been one or two but um, it's not something you hear of um, and it's because it's a sport that's so equal across the board you know they have their their own specific ways to train, ways to move individual sports. It's it's not as common in. Um so that was a really interesting point that she made. And also the boots as well. I mean we can we can I still can't believe we the brands haven't absolutely gone for this business model and inventing a boot that can cure ACLs. There are ones coming out now. I can't remember the name of the brand, um, but it's going to be an ACL boot. But then what if ACL injuries still happen when women are wearing these boots? That's something to consider as well. Um, but yeah, I find it all so incredibly interesting. The Female Body Bible, I've just been speaking to uh, Paul Hawksby and Andy Jacobs at work here and they're keen to get Emma on the show as well, Dr. Emma, because they have so much fascination on it as well because they love covering women's football and all at the moment is there's just like how have they got another injury at Arsenal four in one season there um four in a very short space of time is it four in six months possibly um is it exhaustion you know is it a lot of football is it the pitches is it the menstrual cycle all of the topics are covered in this book and it was really interesting and actually I mean, I thought the menstrual cycle would have had a lot to do with it, but um, of all the injuries that have come out, I think 75% were unrelated to the men menstrual cycle. Um, also, that's the thing as well, when women are training a certain way or doing certain stuff in the gym or playing football a specific way, um, we're forgetting that that was based on the man's game and women's bodies aren't built the same at all. Your hips are wider, your hips linked to the knees, etc cetera, etc cetera. really interesting i'm no expert but definitely something that you should go and catch up on the female body bible and it's out next week and i really thoroughly enjoyed that chat um and good luck to laura veen writer my, my husband was in town the other day and he came home and he was like i just bumped into laura veen writer and i was like oh, is that an ecl and he was like yeah and i was like oh knew it just knew it i said it in the vlog didn't i when we we're watching the game i was like those three dreaded letters um so yeah good luck to her she's a really nice person you always see her family at the games as well and they they were last time we were at the Quantic cup final I, I walked back to the train station with her mum and dad and uh, they were talking about the kids and stuff they always see my kids running right at the games and they were a really nice family so fingers crossed that she's better soon and you've got to look at that squad of acl players and what a top squad it is um fingers crossed they're back to it by the way um beth meets back on the pitch she is running and i have this thick theory in my head that she's going to make the World Cup. Why not? I mean, why would you not take her if you could take her as part of that squad? Now, if she's back running, okay, she's not going to have any game time because the season is ending very, very soon. What, has Arsenal got maybe three or four games to go? Um, so, you know, we need to get this, get this ball rolling, but she is back running, which is so incredible. And I think she's probably be boosted by what Wiegmann says is that she's not, that Bethmead is not in my plans. I think that's given Bethmead like, I'll show you. I'll show you, Liv. Shall we switch up the, the, the mood a bit? Come this way. Come this way. Just because that light is a little bit bright, yeah, it's a bit better this way. Oh, she can't get the lighting, can she? Can't get the staff. If anybody's listening. Nobody's listening. Nobody ever listens. Um, 
Other thing to mention was the UEFA Women's Champions League second leg semi-final at the Emirates. What an incredible day, what an incredible moment, what an incredible everything. Um, but most importantly, what an amazing game that was. It had absolutely everything, end to end, constant action. For a semi-final, it was like a script, you just, you, you just wanted it to go something like that. I expected and wanted a different end, and of course, most of you would have wanted that as well. Um, but Wolfsburg are a, are a top side. I have to address something that's going around with me in this, this interview and Jill Roar for DAZN at the end. Um, I, I, I didn't, I wasn't like flicking the mic, I wasn't being sassy at all. It's amazing how when things come out of context and it's made me feel really bad. I'm like, was I being out of order? Was I being rude? No, I wasn't. Stop making shout up. Um, anyway, that's that addressed. And uh, I cannot wait for the final now. Arsenal were incredible. Jenny Beattie, God love her. God love her. She has so many jobs now at Arsenal and she's back into that squad playing the most football she's played in over a year or so and just was just outstanding. The experience and that digging deep mentality she brought to that game was just class absolutely loved it um, and they were and they were they were excellent they really were excellent but one mistake Wolfsburg will punish you um and it wasn't to be for Arsenal and I also think knowing that they've got that menta that mentality when all of their stars are down when I say all their stars you think Viv Viviana made my Beth made Leah Williamson when all of these injuries happened um, even Caitlin Ford not being there, Kim Little not being there, you go, oh, well, Arsenal might be done without them then. I just didn't see Arsenal progressing this way without those players. And they have gone above and beyond and they've been excellent and they've really proved the point. And um, it's, it, I've been actually proud. I feel like a proud mother. Um, and I'm, I'm proud of Katie as well to, to captain the, the side over these tough few games and, and just really go for it. Very proud moment. Um, also... Into the final we go, 3rd of June in Eindhoven. Cannot wait. Barcelona against Wolfsburg. I'm going to have to pick a side or something. It's going to be, I think it might be Wolfsburg, actually. I think it might be Wolfsburg, but don't tell anyone. Um, and then the WSL, of course, tonight. Arsenal have Leicester. Um, curious to see how this is going to go, because, of course, United at the top on 47 points. City in second on 44 points. Chelsea in third on 43 points with two games in hand, so they can easily just catch up with United with those two games in hand. But they're also, I know Chelsea know how to win, but they are looking that little bit more tired. Uh, but Pernella Harder being back is just key, key. She looked like she was up for it um, in that game against Leicester. Was it Leicester they played? It wasn't Leicester, was it? I can see it in the mind's eye. In that game they played the other day, um, so yeah, I, I I I still see Chelsea going on to win the league. I do. I, I think with those games in hand, it is crucial, and I think they will go all the way. But credit to Manchester United. But Arsenal going back there, they have two games in hand as well. They play tonight, Leicester. I think they get the job done there. But they are now pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing to get top three to make Champions League football. I cannot believe they're in that situation. And it could go down to goal difference as well. An incredible season. It's had it all. I just had to let out all my thoughts. Um, I'll hopefully grab Rusha for a vlog. She's up in Birmingham today and then she's out tomorrow. And gals living lives, you know. Um, but hopefully I will get a vlog in with her soon and a big catch up. And hopefully you're well. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Sorry, this is like... Oh, do you want me to see me do my spin? Yes, Queen. Uh, anyway... Bit dizzy. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you soon.